float. Exactly, okay. and we are rolling. Okay. So I don't <clears throat> think this is gonna be for my channel, just so you know. This is just, just kinda like a Facebook thing or Yeah. Why okay. Not? Okay. Alright. So I decided to order some of these guys. And who better yet to invite in this journey? But none other than my co-worker, also the Spice King at work, Trent Harvey. Hello everyone, <laughs> and good morning. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, if you guys are not familiar with this, this is the One Chip Challenge of 2021. They change it every year. So uh, this one is Carolina Reaper with Scorpion Pepper. So I'm uh, looking forward to this. And we are somewhat prepared. We got some milk, homo milk. We have some buckets, puke, spit bucket, whatever you want to do. Uh, we have a glove, unfortunately, Trent does not fit the glove. So it, 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 it sort of fits, but <laughs> hey, that works. That, that, that works. works. At least you got the Whoops. thumb in. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we got a little water, not for when we drank it, just to kind of like, you know, start a bit. Our prediction is we're going to sweat a lot, so we're just drinking some water beforehand to make sure we stay a little bit hydrated. Yes, sir. Not touching that anymore. Got too much water, I'll save that for later if I'm going to need it. Okay. All right, are you ready, sir? Yep. Got the stopwatch ready. Start this after you and I both swallow the chip you bet. fully. Would you like to do the honors? I shall do the honor, sir. At least of this one. <laughs> Megan's watching your cutting right now. Are you cutting away from yourself? <gasps> Actually, <n> no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Meg, this is not work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Did you... Do you got a bell box cutter there, sir? Yeah. No, there we are. You good? You good? I'm good. Well, so many people borrowed this from me, so... Okay, uh. as you can <laughs> see, untampered. Okay, that's untampered. Okay, I guess we should read the insides, right? Okay. And this, when you complete the challenge, you get to hold this up. <laughs> oh, dang! Destroyed! We'll, we'll uh, find out. Actually, we might be holding this up to each other. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. This uh, is good. So, yeah, it says here, how long can you last before getting owned, eating or drinking anything? So five minutes, powerless, 10 minutes, powerful, 30 minutes, supercharged, one hour, invincible. Like, I don't know how far I can go. Trent, I have faith in you. One hour. I'm doing the one hour one. today. I'm going to make it all the way so I can hold this up and say destroyed. Uh, side note, Sorry. so there's a bunch of chips here too. I know you could get this a superstar. You can't get this anymore at superstar. Have you seen this in Superstore lately? Not Superstore, no. What were I think I I used to get those, and we're talking about the Pocky Haunted Ghost Pepper flavored chips. Personally, one of my favorite chips. Um, I used to get that at Sobeys. Sobeys. Uh, okay, I'll check it out. But who knows? It looks like they changed the packaging. Because of COVID or something? Who knows? Having issues. Okay, and also they have... What to expect. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. So you got round one, which I think is usually the first couple minutes. You got the spicy punch. Round two, <laughs> which is... <laughs> round two is the scorpion sting. Now, that I think that happens at about around the two or a little after the two minute mark because 
all the videos I watch, people are like, oh, da, 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 it's not bad. I can handle this. Two minutes hits. Oh, I'm dying. Uh, round three, vision disruptor. So when you start seeing your, if your eyes start going a bit blurry, you've just hit round three. You're crying. You're, You're like crying. watery. Yeah. Round four is the gut slash. Oh, I hate That's that part. When, that's what I'm worried about. When here. you start feeling it churning in your stomach, yeah. I don't like that part. Round five, roasted. That's when you start hallucinating and the room's spinning. And you're like, you're on a spice high. Yeah. Okay. okay. Any last words? <laughs> the rules for the challenge are, because, you know, not everyone on the planet knows this already. Eat the entire chip. Wait as long as possible before drinking or eating anything. I think minimum is five minutes to consider the challenge defeated. Mm -hmm. Post your reaction on social media with hashtag one chip challenge and mention at Pocky Chips. I don't know if we have uh, I don't know. Instagram. Is that Instagram? That hashtag thing? <laughs> I feel old. Couldn't tell you. I don't know. We're just posting on Facebook. Yeah, Facebook. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's put it in this bag. Do we want? Oh, I think. Yours yeah, is in pieces? Chip is in two pieces in here, I, I think. Mine seems to oh, be in one piece. Me. Okay. Time for the grand opening. I just want to sniff it just a bit. Yeah. It's very reminiscent. Ooh. <laughs> it smells really hot. It smells really hot. You know, you know the jar of Naga pickle? That's what I was going to say. It smells exactly like that. To anyone who knows the Naga pickle, the Naga pepper is a pepper grown in Africa. And I'm get a jar at work and it's just a mash and the entire mash is 34 percent naga pepper just mashed seeds and all and it's got some i believe it it has chili oil in it mm. i think so that is one spicy mofo oh, 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 oh. we should uh, show these guys look yeah mine's in color. pieces too mine's look in at pieces too Check out the color. It's burnt. That's the color of death. It's burnt. So burnt. So burnt. So are oh our God. insides. Our insides are going to be burnt. Yes, I'm shaking. Because <laughs> I have a funny feeling I know what this chip is going to do to me. Quit laughing. <laughs> okay. <gasps> Now, do you want to do piece by piece or just shove the whole mess in and I think that's away? the easiest part, just like a band-aid, right? Yeah. Okay. Stopwatch, ready to go. I'll hit start once we both swallow everything. Yeah. Are you ready? You bet. Chris, <laughs> see you on the other <laughs> side, my friend. Cheers. Three, oh. two... One, go. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> this is hot already. <clears throat> it tastes stale. That's, yeah. Okay. Glove is being removed. <clears throat> okay. Mine is swallowed. <coughs> oh, Lord. Is yours swallowed? Just about. Oh, my God. Wow. Are you ready? I'm getting hiccups. <laughs> okay. Start. 
<laughs> Start. Okay. It's good. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Is it running? I don't know. Yep, it's, it's running. <sighs> I'm gonna get the milk ready. Okay. Wow. It hit me hard, so. Okay, keep spinning. So Trek gave me some advice. He said, it hurts to breathe. In through the nose, out through the mouth, buddy. <sighs> okay, I'm getting... I'm vibrating all over. I can't stop, my like... Head, my hands... I'm crying. Two minutes. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I bet Regan, this is what I didn't want to do at your place. <sighs> In through the nose, out through the mouth, spit. <sighs> I'm drooling. It's like my whole body regrets this so much. It feels like my my mouth is so numb. <laughs> Numb, numb, here to here, uh. numb, vibrating. Hands are just. Oh, fuck! Shit! Three minute mark! Hell yeah! Fuck! Shit! Oh, ha, ho, ha. Dude, if we get every five minutes, this is not that bad. You just have to focus. Just focus on the breathing. That's what Chet, like, gave me the advice for. Oh. Oh. How you doing, buddy? I feel like I have to burp. I think I can get out. Ah. Spit now. Oh yeah, I've been spit, alright? It's like a spit soup over here. Oh. Ah. Ah. Battery acid on the tongue. Ah. Oh. Let me some of this guy. Ten more seconds to five minute mark. Oh, uh, that's pretty good, man. <sighs> oh. 
Oh god, that's fucking horrible. Ah. 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 Try it. Cup. You get it? I'm, I'm just drooling. There's. I'm one. like, I'm so cold, man. I'm so cold. Oh fuck. Would you say this is the hottest thing you ever tasted? Yeah, and I knew it would be. Oh, my face is just puckered uh, like an SOB right now. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, like, the, the, the tingles I can get all over me. I, mean, I have fucking goosebumps right now, man. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, from here to here is just numb right now. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, right now it's a mental challenge. You're not really being burnt, you're not really feeling sick. That's the burp that I wanted. Okay. <gasps> the hiccups went away pretty quick, actually. I'm surprised. Eyes are watering just a smidge. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. <sighs> My nose wants to run. My stomach feels horrible. Uh, my stomach. Right now I can barely feel anything. Just a, a little warmth. I can't do it. This is where I'm gonna have Okay. Ugh. Chris is tapping out. He made it. Chris made it seven minutes, 25 seconds. I'm going for an hour. Did I just say an hour? Okay, I think my stomach feels okay because I'm not swallowing. I'm just, I'm breathing in through my nose, out through my mouth, or at least I'm trying to. And every time my mouth waters, I'm spitting back in this tub. Okay, we're at eight minutes, 40 seconds. And if, okay, I think the first wave is starting to calm down. More waves to come. Chris, hold your head up high, buddy. You did good. Thank you. Okay, I drooled a bit on the table <laughs> and on my arm. Uh, Are you still with us, bud? Uh, it still feels like shit. Bucket. Keep spitting. Keep spitting. Spit everything into the into the bucket. Okay. Here we are. Almost the 10 minute mark. Okay, it feels like 
everything's starting to subside slowly. Uh, stomach cramps hard. It's hard, honey. You can do it, man. Right. It's like 10 minutes, 20 seconds. You should be starting to feel slightly better. Okay, first wave is subsiding, I would say substantially, but it's still hot as hell. <clears throat> 11 minute mark, the numbness is starting to subside. I don't feel, I don't feel too tingly anymore. I still, still feel numb somewhat in this area. <clears throat> okay. Okay, closing in on <coughs> 12 minute mark. Starting to heat up again. Okay. Okay. Round three, vision disruptor and everything else disruptor is uh, phasing in. Still in through the nose, out through the mouth, buddy. <laughs> You're going to live, sir. You're going to live. I'm not even thinking about any hydration whatsoever because personally, from my experience, oh, I know it doesn't help. I mean, like Chris is doing, you, you take a swig, you hold it in your mouth, and you just swish it around and hold it for, I don't know, 30 seconds. You do not swallow it. You spit it in to your bucket or your spit cup. And then if you need to, you take more swigs, and then you swish it around and hold it, then spit it. Now, the problem that, well, I personally believe <clears throat> most people um, who make it about five minutes or so and then they reach for the milk is uh, they, they swig the milk and then they swallow it right away. Or they take ice cream or yogurt or whatever. They, they swig it swish it around, swallow it. I think that's wrong, personally, because all you're doing is, I mean, sure, the cream in whatever you're taking soaks the, the fat molecules in the cream, soak up the capsaicin molecules, and sure, that's great, but when you swallow it, guess what? You're just putting that back in your system. Uh, 
when you take it in your mouth, swish it around and hold it for a little bit and then spit it out, what you're doing is you're actually helping remove a lot of that capsaicin, the spicy molecule that makes everything spicy. You're removing it from your system, spitting it in the bucket. It helps you recover and lessen the burn way faster than swallowing. Okay, and the people who just flat out reach for water and guzzle it, yeah, I, that's not right because water and capsaicin mix as well as oil and water do. And when you're drinking the water, all you're doing is pushing, literally pushing the spice farther down your throat and more of it into your stomach. That's not, that's not a good way to survive this. <clears throat> okay, sir. We're at around 16 minutes or six minutes, 20 seconds, 16 minutes, 20 seconds. Ugh. I don't know how okay. I can do it. I'm shaking. I'm so cold. My nose is still dripping. Yeah. Uh, you, uh, the, the cramps have started to lessen. But I need to be in this position. I'm like sweating hard so bad. Yeah. So I followed Trent's advice, like gurgle it, spit all that milk out, instant relief. Comes back a little bit, but the capsaicin that's in your mouth, almost I'd say 50% relief by spitting it. Yeah. Uh, I swallowed a little bit of a milk eventually after I uh, spat out some milk a couple of times. Um, instant relief in the esophagus, slowly going down the stomach, but it still hurts. Feels like I want to puke, but I'm trying not to, or, you know, whatever works. And I think, I think another thing, I could be wrong on this, with uh, having the milk or the ice cream or the yogurt or whatever you're doing with a lot of cream in it, swallowing it. Also, um, I think what that does is end up curdling in your stomach, which makes you feel even more queasy and might be why um, a lot of people end up vomiting at some point. Um, okay. 18 minute mark. Chris is feeling it. I'm starting to feel okay. My mouth is only slightly, slightly burning. Not even numb anymore. The tingles have gone. Um, I feel, I don't even feel anything from here down. My stomach I mean, it's it's a tiny bit warm. It feels like, you know, when you take that, you take that first shot of whiskey, slam it back, you get that warmth. I'm feeling that in my stomach right now. Yep, Chris is sweating. Even his hair is wet. Chris, you gonna be okay, buddy? Yeah. How's your mouth doing? Better. Stomach not good. No. Stomach takes a while. Um, do you have any Tums or Rolaids or anything? Any Not Pepto? No? Not that I know. Shit. And I was thinking I got Tums at home. I should have brought them. Sorry. Hey, um, you got dry crackers, dry bread, anything like that? Excuse me. What are you feeling, Chris? I want to puke. Worst feeling ever. If you got to puke, just do it, man. 
You want me to hold the bucket up for you? Ugh. Ugh. Okay. If you gotta puke, don't hold it back, man. I'm not holding it back. Okay. My eyes and nose are done watering and running. Okay. <clears throat> Is there? No, oh, that's just part of the packaging. All right. Okay. We're at about almost 21 and a half minutes. I'm going for an hour. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I can do it. I don't even feel that bad anymore. <sighs> Still shaky a bit, but that'll go away. Oh. Choose your challenger. They got five different types of flavors of chips. Haunted ghost pepper, freaking hot. Yeah, it is. I've eaten them a lot. Made with real ghost peppers. It hurts so good. <laughs> Not as much as this hurts. Fiery chili lime. Lime. Super hot. Made with real chili peppers. It'll fuel your fire. I love chilies. Man, they're so delicious. Zesty Salsa Verde. Kind of hot, made with real jalapenos. It's got a kick. Mm, for me, not so much. Jalapeno Tropicale. Hot, made with real jalapenos. Sweet heat, not sugar-coated. Mm, that sounds not too bad. Oh. You still with us, bud? Yeah. Oh my lord, you are sweating, bud. Um, here. Need another Kleenex? Oh, here. You still feel cold and, and shaky? Oh, yeah. Well, wow. I don't know if you can see this, but there's literally beads of sweat rolling off his forehead right now. Oh. Oh. You feel like you're going to pass out or anything? No, I don't think so. Okay. I'm just trying to find some relief. Okay. Do you have any crackers or anything? Salted, salty crackers? It's right there. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. I got you some of these uh, thin meats, vegetable things. Try it. I can't. Can't? Okay. Do you want me to grab a cup for you? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh. Uh. Let me know if you need more Kleenex or anything. <clears throat> I 
<laughs> Do you want a pillow? Ugh. Do you want a do you want a blanket or something? Ugh. No. There. Try this. Just let me know if you need a Kleenex. I also suggest anyone out there who still hasn't tried this Pocky One Chip Challenge and wants to, I suggest taking, oh, a few years to build up your spice tolerance. Um, Chris has eaten a fair bit of spice most of his life, so he's had some tolerance. But um, to anyone out there who does not have any spice tolerance, you think he's suffering? Mm -hmm. I've I've seen videos of people go to the hospital and having to get their stomachs pumped. Um, this this challenge is not something to be taken lightly, and I've seen too many people take it lightly, and they end up an absolute mess. Please be careful. <clears throat> Okay. I think Chris has definitely gone through the gut slash phase, which is round four. Um, he's definitely on round five. He's roasted. Um, I hope to God he doesn't have to call him sick tomorrow. If any of his managers are watching this, please expect it. You all right there, buddy? You want to go sit on the crapper for a while? Do you want, or do you want more milk? Maybe that'll help you. You know what? Do you want to try a couple of crackers? Maybe that'll help you puke it up. Oh, where are we here? Come on. Roughly 29 minute mark. I don't know if you guys can see that too well or not. Sorry, my hands are shaking. It's just a matter of time Chris is going to heave. Hopefully he does soon. That'll get a lot of that stuff out of his stomach. stomach starting to calm down now. Thirty minute mark. I'm going for one hour.
I know one thing. When I go back to work, that Naga Pickle ain't gonna feel like anything anymore. <laughs> neat little skull in the back. Nice. Are you warming up at least, Chris? Mm -hmm. uh, cool. Excuse me. Thirty-two minutes. I like these boxes, they're kind of a neat little souvenir. <laughs> I love this, what to expect. Made with Carolina Reaper pepper and scorpion pepper. This treat from Hell Chip was created for the sheer pleasure of intense heat and pain. Yep, sure was. Hey, Chris, are we going to do this again next year? No. I had a funny feeling. Chris, you're going to have so much fun editing this. <laughs> Megan, don't worry. Chris is okay. He'll just probably be in bed when you get home. Do you want any more milk, Chris? Need to go to the hospital, sir? No. No, you're good. Okay. It's a nice house. I like it. Starting to feel any better? Uh, a little. Good. Good, 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 sir. Describe them, what I'm doing right now, like what position I am. Okay. 
Chris is currently on his knees, hunched over a bucket that looks like this. Every once in a while, he's spinning into it. He hasn't puked yet. Um, the sweating has stopped. Um, he's almost in the fetal position. He's feeling better. Oh, fuck. My nose is dripping like crazy. Thank you. Yeah. Chris's nose is dripping like crazy. Need another Kleenex? No. Okay. I'm going to set the Kleenex right here on top of the chair. Just in case he wants some more. Thirty-seven minutes. These last twenty-three are gonna go slow, I think. Ugh, fuck. Stomach still hurting? Yeah. Another good thing um, before you do this challenge, it, it's ninety-five percent up here. Um, mentally preparing for it it's probably the best thing you can do um just try and realize that it's it's a chemical it's a chemical reaction in your mouth that feels like it's burning it's not actually burning you you'll come out of this unscathed um oh. you all right Yeah, mentally prepare. That's the best advice I can offer. Actually, no, that's not the best advice I can offer. This is the best advice. Don't do it. <laughs> okay, Chris has officially laid on the floor in the fetal position. One of his slippers is half off his foot. Laying in the fetal position does not help. Leaning over top a bucket helps. Roughly at the 39 minute mark. These are delicious. Once I get to an hour, I think I might snack on a couple of these. Uh, yeah, um, dry crackers, dry bread, um, especially dry crackers with salt on it, probably help your stomach um, the best. It'll help soak up all the spice and all the excess stomach acid that is currently going through our system right now. <laughs> this chip will destroy you. You're next. Uh, is this a candle? Looks like it. Pumpkin pecan waffles, scented candle. Oh, God, that smells good. From White Barn.
Chris, there's a tray of booties over there. Help yourself. I'm getting hungry. Help yourself. <laughs> I've got, we're at 40, 41 minute mark. I got 19 minutes to go. <clears throat> Can still feel it just a tiny bit, a little bit of the warmth in my stomach. Otherwise, everything has gone away. How are you doing, Chris? Just your stomach? That's it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, that was hot. But it was good. You know what we got to do next now, Chris? <laughs> we got we got to do the what the heck was it called? The Mad Dog three fifty seven sauce. Apparently, it's hotter than this. That was a good sound. <clears throat> Still feel like you're going to vomit? The whole time. The whole time. That's not a good feeling. You're gonna have to stop that uh, my phone yeah. after you're done in a minute. I'll stop it. Hmm? I'll stop it. Okay, thank you. Yep. We're almost we're at about 43 and a half minutes. So yeah, roughly we got well, I got about a 15 minute break at work left to go. Do you know what the temperature is outside, sir? Minus 40. Minus 40. That's with the wind chill. And that's minus 40 Celsius. If there's anyone out there who's going to watch this, who maybe is from the U.S. or something, I don't know. Okay, we're at the 45 minute mark. Smells like stale baby puke, to be honest. Doesn't taste much better, but.
Chris, are you ever going to eat spice again? Not this time. <laughs> so if I get a bunch of people together for a pepper eating contest, you won't join in? Mm -mm. No. <laughs> Sorry. Those bananas look like they need to be eaten soon. Mm -mm. They look well, yeah, true. I guess it's just the peel probably hasn't gone inside to the banana we, yet. Yeah, uh, we leave it brown, like we let it brown because Megan makes banana bread out of it. Ah, yeah. I was just gonna say that's perfect for banana bread. Oh, we're getting close, sir. We're almost at 47 and a half minutes. Wonder if anyone will actually watch this all the way through. I could probably fast forward it. <sighs> yeah. milk please okay how much do you want quarter half cup just a little bit that's good okay it's right up on the counter thank you sir welcome sir i think i can get up now awesome i can join Fred. right on here come on up sir i just had to be in a fetal position for the longest time yeah Give me a second. Yep. I just want to make sure I'm okay. Take your time. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Baby steps. Get get your arm on the, the chair. <laughs> oh, it's so cold. Yeah. Go. Oh. Cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Lay your face on the register there for a minute. Mm. I used to work with a guy and we'd have, we'd have parties and oh. uh, he would get so drunk that he, I remember one time um, we partied at my house and we all got pretty plastered and uh, he uh, we all got to the point where, okay, it was time to crash. I can't remember. It was like five, six in the morning. We're like, okay, crash. Had a couple extra um, mattresses and a couch and some people laid on the mattresses and on the couch and get up. I think it was around 10 a.m., 11 a.m., something like that. And it was hot as blazes in the house. And I went up and checked the thermostat and someone had got up in the middle of the night while we were all sleeping, and cranked the thermostat all the way up. It was like, I think 35, 36 degrees, something like that. So I went and turned it down and I went out and who the hell turned the thermostat all the way up? <laughs> and lo and behold, uh, everyone got up and they're like, oh, I didn't, I didn't. Yeah, man, it's sure hot in here. And then this one guy look over and he's, he's laying on the floor and the top half of his body is between the couch and this chair. And there happens to be a register on the floor there. <laughs> he gets up and stands up and looks at me. I'm just like, 
what the hell happened to your face? <laughs> he literally burnt register marks in the side of his face on his cheek. <laughs> that was, wow, that was hilarious. <laughs> uh. Almost at 51 and a half minutes. Eight and a half minutes to go. Then we can call it a day. How you doing over there, Chris? Much better. Much better. Feels, yeah, feels better. I think I'm ready to describe the experience. Okay, don't watch, watch your back. There's a corner of the table there. That's all, all you need. <laughs> oh my God. Ah! Stomach's that sore? Well, it's not as bad anymore. Okay. I think I'm good enough. Uh, Kleenex, please. Okay. It's fucking cold in here. That's what happened. Yeah. Like, so... <laughs> I just want to let everybody know how my experience was. So, it, like... I felt better around the 45 minute mark. I just wasn't sure. But from 45 minutes, like to when you started, it was the worst feeling ever. Like um, I, when, when I grew up, I used to have ulcers as a kid. And that's pretty much how it felt like in your stomach. It, it's like you had like, the biggest ulcer ever and all you could do is be in a fetal position and just yeah just hang on there like there's no relief there's no nothing like nothing. the milk helped actually the milk helped a lot like that was probably the best part like so i tapped out around seven minutes or 28 seconds or something like that right around something like that too. yeah so <laughs> as soon as you get past that time um like uh yeah like it it just slowly went like so this uh where, where was that this is accurate like the around uh, one two three to five so it, it's really accurate but it the, the the waves went so quick so quick like spicy punch yeah scorpion sting was like one and two was kind of together and then round three, yeah, like I just start, like I couldn't help it. Like I, like I was just like crying like crazy and my nose was dripping. And then round four, I have a feeling is the worst because I like, this was the part where I'm not good at, like I'm not good at like spicy stuff that like that, that, that hits your, your, your stomach a lot. So that one was the worst. So I can't imagine what it's going to feel like on the other end tomorrow. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit afraid of that. It's going to be rough. But it is what it is. Um, so the experience like right now, so like Trent's almost in an hour, which is amazing. I, I applaud Trent. Like he's crazy. Like he is the Spice King. So like, the, like the whole time I was off screen, I was just like right here. Uh, I was just, my face was on that bucket. Like I wanted to puke it out. And then there was actually a time where I was almost gonna puke it out. Like it was like right here. And then just the fact that it went up a bit felt so much relief in my belly. And then obviously it went down again slow. And then you instantly fell, f felt all of that again. And it was like the worst feeling ever. Yeah. So right now I feel like I'm pretty much back to normal, but the whole time, like like Trent was describing the whole thing, it was absolutely 100% accurate. Like I was just dripping sweat down here. Yeah. Like I'm fucking cold. Like, like it's freezing. Like it, it's crazy. Yeah, like this, this whole shirt is drenched. <laughs> like it, it's crazy. Whew. Cool. But yeah, like, uh, are you sweating at all? No. No, no not anymore? I, 
I didn't sweat at all. Oh, wow. No, Holy. My, uh, I had my eyes teared <laughs> up and my nose got a little runny. Um, aside from that, the worst... The worst feeling I had was the first 10 minutes when like roughly after, I think it was a minute and a half, two minutes, uh, like from here to here, I went numb and I was like fuzzy and vibrating. Um, but that's where the mental aspect of it comes into play. You just, and I can't stress this enough, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, and um, that helped a lot that, it was hard helps. to do but that helped a lot yeah because i know is a, a lot of people um in videos i've seen where they say oh I, i'm having trouble breathing i'm having trouble because when you you take big gulps of air through your mouth you're breathing all that spice back into yourself down your throat and excuse me when the spice hits your throat, there's usually like um, an allergic or anaphylactic style response where your throat actually may like close up a little bit. It swells up a little bit and you get that feeling of... <gasps> That's scary. That is That's scary. That's fucking scary. Um, I'm glad that didn't happen so, to any of us. Yeah. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, because as you exhale through your mouth... You're breathing out all that spicy stuff that most people generally, when they breathe through their mouth, are breathing back in. And um, like Chris was doing, swigging the milk, holding it in his mouth, swishing it around, and then spitting it out. That also helps get rid of all, or not all, but a lot of the spiciness that's Instant in your mouth. Instant relief. Amazing. Instant relief. Don't do water. Never water. Don't touch it. Never do water. it before you do it, but do, do not water. Yeah, but not before because like like I was sweating profusely. So yeah, you really need to hydrate yourself. But yeah. once you start this challenge, I would suggest milk, swish around, gargle it, but spit it right out. Like I I didn't drink a lot of milk right now actually. Like right now I am drinking it because. There's no more spice in my mouth at all. Like, I don't feel any spice at all. Like, yeah. it's gone. It's absolutely gone. Yeah. And you want to... When when you're at this point, you... This is probably the point, or even maybe after a half hour, when you start wanting to actually drink and <sighs> swallow the milk. Because then at that point, the the burning sensation and the sick feeling is probably almost gone. So drinking that milk down or eating that ice cream down at that point helps go into your stomach and soak up a lot of the spice. Uh, that will only just help you the next day when you're on the toilet. Um, so it's it probably doesn't burn coming out quite as much. <laughs> I guess I'll let you know. <laughs> yeah. Sir? Oh my goodness, 30 seconds. 30 seconds until I've completed the hour challenge. Oh my God. Spice King. I never <laughs> doubted it. I never yeah. doubted it. Oh my goodness. Oh, this was a journey. Like it, it, like it, it just brought me to those moments with the ulcer again. And it was just so bad. And yeah. the whole time I was just dying. Like, at, at one point, when you were mentioning about the hospital thing... Oh. Done. Yes! Done. Okay. You didn't even need to drink milk, eh? Ladies and gentlemen... Yeah. Congratulations, Trent. Thanks, buddy. This is, this is definitely a notch in the belt. That's Holy for sure. shit. This is going to be Holy a good fuck. keepsake and reminder. Holy fuck. Okay, oh. I could... I, I could literally just go on and on and on. Because I feel nothing anymore. But the hour, I did it. I'm invincible. Whoop. Do Done. you need any milk at all, Trent? No, I'm Water, perfectly fine. Anything? Holy shit. I'm perfectly shit. fine. That's insane.
Yeah. That's insane. Like right now I have goosebumps. I'm like freaking cold. I might take a shower after this. Oh my <laughs> gosh. I think I'm gonna. That was insane. That was probably one of the most insane things I've ever put in my mouth. Oh. That was, that was pretty nasty. I, I can imagine what Thomas says right now. <laughs> yeah. I can picture everyone just shaking their head going, <laughs> You are so stupid. <laughs> yes, sir. But hey, made it. It's all good. Oof. All right. Okay. We're going to cut the video. You betcha. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining in our journey of suffering and pain. <laughs> Arrivederci.